Hi, I'm Councillor Kristen Strezzo, one of your at-large city councillors. I've spent the last three years proudly representing our Somerville community. This November 7th, I'm running for re-election and I'm asking for your vote. A little about me, I'm a single mom of two kids in the Somerville schools. I was raised in a proud union household, spent decades in a feminist punk band, and also acted as the sole caregiver of my elderly grandmother for 12 years. I know the struggles facing Somerville residents because I've lived through them. I ran for office because I knew Somerville needed decision makers who understood the issues at hand. I live in affordable housing, so I know how challenging it is to navigate the available resources and programs without losing hope. I understand the difficult decisions that many Somerville families make to stay in our community. It took years for my family to find an apartment that could accommodate the needs of my children and my grandmother who needed ADA accessibility and that was also affordable. And it's a blessing I'm grateful for every day. I want every Somerville resident to know this feeling. In this pivotal time of growth, we need to ensure that everyone can stay in their chosen community. I've been fighting for this by increasing short-term housing solutions like voucher programs, expanding housing stock, and increasing resident support. As the chair of the Housing and Community Development Committee, I work hard to ensure affordable housing continues to be prioritized. I will continue to fight hard for the security and dignity of every Somerville resident. You may remember that I've always said that I'm about action, not words and I've kept my promise on it in my first two terms. I've been actively working to do all I can to support our small business community, most predominantly our women and our minority-owned businesses, because if we lose a small, our small business community, Somerville loses a part of its identity. And I'm very proud of the work I've been doing to ensure reproductive rights and body autonomy are protected at a municipal level and I've introduced and passed bold policies to do so. I'm proud to say that other communities have followed Somerville's lead on this, including Cambridge, East Hampton, and all the way up to the Attorney General's office. I've continued to fight for environmental justice and proactive climate change policies, such as soundproof barriers in Somerville, one of the most viable actions toward improving air quality. Our climate action plan must center equity and ensure that our entire city is safe and healthy through this climate crisis. I have helped to increase after school activities in our elementary schools, and I'm so proud to be part of the work establishing the newly opened free teen centers. I've worked to make sure the teen centers are accessible, responsive, and supportive to all Somerville teens with free meals, counseling, fun activities, later hours, and a safe place to simply hang out with their peers. I'm grateful to have the support of the Greater Boston Labor Council, Vote Mama, Mass Women's Political Caucus, Sierra Club, and numerous local unions. I'm also the only candidate in Massachusetts endorsed by bold progressive this, progressives this election cycle. I will continue to ensure that you are heard, that you are valued, that you are responded to. I look forward to grabbing coffee with you, seeing you on the playground or at the library. If we haven't crossed paths yet, reach out to me. I'd love to hear from you. I want Somerville to be a place where we can all thrive young and old. I will continue to fight my hardest for you and ensure that you're living your best life here in Somerville. We've started this together and we're getting it done. And we're going to do so much more in the years to come. All of us. I'm asking for your vote this November 7th in the 2023 municipal general election.